reading this, this truly makes it bipartisan as far as Democrats and Republicans coming out in opposition to this, uh, the casinos in Philadelphia. And I'm very proud to read this statement from my friend, Representative Greg Vitale of Delaware County. From the beginning, I have opposed the concept of using, of using slot machines, at horse race tracks, and elsewhere as a, fund, as a funding source for property tax reduction in Pennsylvania. I voted against Act 71 and was part of a lawsuit that challenged the constitutionality of that law. There are two significant problems with using slots money to provide property tax relief. The first is that this strategy amounts to providing a tax cut for the middle class on the backs of the poor. Targeted property tax relief for those who need it most, such as low and fixed income senior citizens struggling to keep their homes, is a laudable goal. The state already has programs in place to provide tax relief for these homeowners. Foremost among the property tax rent rebate program. That's one of the uh, highlights of the ways that we can help these senior citizens is through the property tax rent rebate program. The state has the means to expand this program to include more seniors and others who need property tax relief, relief without turning to widespread slots gambling. Those social ills are the other reasons I oppose slots gambling in Pennsylvania. Philadelphia is a good example of the imprudence of the slots plan and indicative of how it is likely to have a negative impact on certain segments of our community. The Philadelphia area will be saddled with four slots casinos, two standalone casinos in the city and a race track in Chester County and one in Ben Salem, Bucks County. Placing four large scale four large scale gambling establish, establishments in an urban region that include large concentrations of poor residents is a recipe for serious social problems. Act seventy one is a poor way to fund property tax relief that does not deliver true or fair tax reform. What's more, it is likely to have a disastrous impact on many Pennsylvania families and communities. The payoff of slots gambling in Pennsylvania simply is not worth the gamble. These are the comments by, by my friend and colleague, Greg Vitale. Thank you. Jesse, can I make one brief announcement? I'm very impressed by the great turnout here this afternoon. And I have a piece of legislation that I'm going to introduce within the very in the next week or so. It's a moratorium calling on the governor to sign the bill after we get it passed. A one-year moratorium. And when I put out the, the press release, that's going to be dedicated. That bill is going to be dedicated to the people here in Philadelphia who have come out and showed strong support for their families and their, and their neighborhoods. Thank you again.